Let's go back to the phone lines. We'll try Danielle in Overland Park, Kansas. Hi, Danielle. Hi, Hank. I just wanted to say thank you for everything you do, and I listen to you every day or as many days as I can, and you have given me so much insight into my life and my spirituality and raising my kids. Oh, wow. Which brings me to my question about the occult influence in today's media. I have a 19-year-old and an 11-year-old, and I've been teaching my kids about, you know, people on TV aren't necessarily who they seem to be and trace back and do your research and everything. And my son and I were watching a commercial from one of his favorite basketball players that was loaded with occult symbolism. And my son asked me a question. He said, if I get the shoes that this guy, you know, is trying to sell, am I evil too? And that made me wonder, does it... Are we evil if we listen to the music? Are we evil if we watch the videos? Is there some kind of subliminal thing that happens to you when you listen to the music, when you, other than just being numb to the things that are, you know, going on in society? I'm just wondering what your take is. I've heard you talk about TD Jakes and everything, and they helped clear a lot up for me because I was listening to Creflo Dollar and TD Jakes and. Joyce Meyer had a book from, I have all of it, you know, and you just helped me really just cut through to exactly who they are and what their ulterior motive is. So I just wondering if you could give me some insight on what to tell my kids, what to listen to, you know, Kirk Franklin does Christian music. And before I did all my research, I thought, well, even though he does Christian music, if he's affiliated with the occult, it's okay because he's singing to Jesus. But then I started reading the Bible, and you know what it says, that light and dark cannot exist in the same heart? It made me wonder. So help me out and <laughs> give me some direction, please. Well, I appreciate the way you phrased the question, and I think what you have to recognize is that there are some lyrics that have occult overtones. But you can also have hip-hop music that's glorifying to the Lord, that is theologically rich in sound. So I think what's important is to focus your mind on those things which are good and lovely and honorable, not the kind of lyric that is degrading to women, degrading to society, but that which is glorifying to God. So music, as it were, can be used for good can be used for evil, then I think the lyrical content has a lot to do with it. So we should not embrace those things that end up pulling us into the gutter, but those things which cause us to live lives of rich, full devotion to the Lord. And it is so easy, as you know, Danielle, for kids to get caught up in sort of the vibe or the ethos of the world. And we're called to be in the world but not of the world. That doesn't mean that we suddenly think that all hip-hop music is wrong. No, it can be glorifying to the Lord. But much of it that is not glorifying to the Lord, we shouldn't fill our minds with because what we fill our minds with has a huge impact on how we live out our life. Right. So then what should I tell my son when he says if we... If we know that someone's affiliated with the occult and they put out a particular shoe or shirt and we purchase that, are we participating in their worship of the occult as well? Or? Well, you know, that's a really good question. That's a very perceptive question on his part, to be honest with you. And, you know, quite frankly, I think that we do want to be careful what kind of things we support, because what we support with our money ends up having more and more dominance in the culture. So I think there's a sense in which we want to be careful about that. And so I would commend him on being very perceptive and insightful at that point. I thought that was an amazing question and I was just done. And he's, he's able to pick out the symbolism. He's able to look at the commercials and, and point it all out. And so I have the burden of doing the research on the back end, not the burden, but you know, the research part of it to, to explain to him Yes, this is a cult, this is the numerology, this is the symbolism, and it's just hard being a parent, you know, when your kid asks you these questions to make sure you're giving them the advice and then following Well, it sounds like you are giving them very good advice, and they are blessed to have a wonderful mom. 